One of the most commonly confused ideas, I think, is um, average value versus average rate of change. Uh, it doesn't really become a problem until you learn average value. Um, until then, average rate of change is something that you can just like knock out with no problem at all. But um, we're going to talk a little bit about each of them, and then I'll show you why I think there's confusion on that issue, and uh, hopefully you'll find this entire thing uh, beneficial. Okay, so the first thing we're going to deal with is average value, and that's a y value. Okay, it's going to have exactly the same units as whatever the function is that you're finding the average value of. So if the uh, function gives you degrees Celsius, then the average value will be in degrees Celsius. And the way we calculate it is uh, the integral from a to b of f of x dx, um, or v of t dt, or whatever, over um, b minus a. And if you kind of follow along on the units, um, you'll see that it works out to having exactly the same units as uh, the function f of x. So that's a y average. Um, so you frequently calculate that, um, especially in free response questions. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, the other thing that is frequently confused with it. Okay, so uh, the next thing we want to talk about is average rate of change, and that is uh, actually your algebra 1 slope that you're familiar with. And that's why it's not a problem before you learn um, average value and it becomes an issue after you learn average value. So if we have a function f of x and we have to find the average rate of change well then all that is is uh, f of b minus f of a over b minus a. The units of the average rate of change will actually be the same units as the derivative of f of x. Um, so for average value of a function, the units are the same as the function itself. Average rate of change, the units are actually the same as the derivative of the function, um, which makes sense if you think about it because, I mean, it's just the slope of a secant line which has to have the same units as the slope of a tangent line. Um, so the thing that I think confuses people about this is uh, something that we'll look at uh, next. So let's see what we get from that. Okay, so let's see if we can see the connection between these and probably where the problem kind of arises. Um, so say we have a uh, function s of t, which tells you a uh, position over time, um, and then its derivative s prime of t is going to be the velocity, so v of t. Um, so if I want the average value of velocity, so average value of velocity would be the integral of v of t dt from a to b, and then over b minus a. Well, by the fundamental theorem, um, which you better know at this point, um, the integral of velocity actually is going to take us back to uh, s of t. So this actually, by uh, fundamental theorem, is going to be s of b minus s of a over b minus a. Um, and if you take a look at that, the average velocity, um, remember, is going to have the units of velocity, and the average rate of change is also going to have the units of the velocity. So this is a connection between um, average value on this side and average rate of change on this side, which takes a long time to write. Um, so I think that's where some of the confusion comes from, is that um, you've been finding average velocity for a really long time. The way you've been finding average velocity is to do this, change in position over time. Uh, now that you suddenly know how to do uh, antiderivatives and definite integrals, now to find average velocity you're doing an integral divided by b minus a. Um, but if you think about the units, they're exactly the same thing, um, and that's really the connection. So um, I know this is an issue that confuses some people. I hope this is a little bit helpful as you... Uh, Try to study these concepts. Good luck.